Alright, what's up YouTube, Frey Hero here. Uh, scrubbed out in Vanguard, lost in the last round to Murakumo, so we didn't top 8. Because OTT feels bad. And so we ended up winning Buddy Fight. We played Lecture Deity. Um, let's jump into the deck. I don't know what else to say other than... It was a good day. So... It's basically the game now. Lost World. The win con. We turbo it. Uh, then our Electro Deity standard kind of setup here. Three items, four Ama, one Mizu for the bouncing and resting against monsters. The burn one kind of comes up sometimes. Uh, I still play the Sasanowo because uh, having triple attack penetrate is really good. Rogue matchups, it's really nice. Even like Blade Dancer matchup, at least. You have three attacks going in, if you can uh, get around the uh, impact, or it helps you get around the impact because you can smack sides and stuff, and then you just swing it face to item, and stuff like that. Um, then we play one of the new card. He can't be removed um, by your opponent's card effects, so it's a lifesaver against Lost World, unless they nullify pop. Um, although, yeah, you can't pop it because of the item so but yeah so for my buddy the charge and draw when you have an electro deity three of the uh that chaos card where you check three and add one to hand to a drop two overkill ibukis to give us one more turn to loss base it guarantees you lost road in almost every matchup unless you can actually bounce this card or destroy it on your turn forcing you to overkill or something. And then spells, four of the item searcher slash electro DD restander. Four of the check three or gauge three, check your gauge, add a card to hand. Two miracle fighters, because you don't always need to get your stuff and it can clog. Because once you have your items in your size three, you're pretty set. Three of the draw two slash three card, and then three of the uh, the baby uh, loud voice to reduce crits and power. Play one return helps you dig if you didn't get to your lost word soon enough. Um, it's nice in those matches where you don't have to worry about spell nose because you can be greedy and like charge your possession grade threes or size threes and then. Salvage them by paying that as the cost for the gauge. And then play two of the ceremonial arrows. This was specifically for like LDO and because I knew the blade dancers were gonna be there. So I wanted to have some outs to their sides. And um, it worked out pretty well. It also is like good on those on calls, like my buddy. If you pop uh, the other card on the field then they don't get their on-call skill because they weren't on the field yet and can't resolve. And then we play four Sakura Fubukis. Spell and all. Kind of wins games. Unless you open all of them. And then just die. <laughs> play one Shadow Stitching. This is also for like decks like LDO or just monster decks or even like when they get to Lost World you can nullify the uh, Vanity or something, or like the Irrigate, and then it can't stand. It's kind of nice. We play two Clear Serenities for the extra gauge. Um, it comes up, and um, if you combo with the uh, the Welcome, you can check the six cards instead, because that's six cards you just shoved into your gauge, and it's uh, more ways to dig. And then we're playing s the Generics. One barbed wire for hero world matchup, mostly Matt. Didn't have anyone playing it today, but did play against Cosmo Man, and this was the greatest thing just dressed in Cosmo Man. He just had to pass his turn. And then the one loyalty, because there are matchups where they call a lot, and this basically tells them no. It actually won me a game because he was gonna go all in, and then I loyaltyed him, and he just couldn't do anything. And I ended up getting into my next turn and got a lot of cards. And then the spicy tech, 
of Buddy Help because of uh, the potential excess amount of gauge you have in this deck, or if you just brick, it can potentially help you unbrick because you have all the gauge and that draw two really comes in handy since uh, a lot of your cards are hard once per turns so you can't just keep spamming them and you end up with a lot of dead cards or just cards you're not uh, using at the moment you kinda wanna dig for something better it's a nice tech I found out if you guys know who a Chang is shoutouts to that um, lost deck Four very expensive boys, but not the highest rarity, of course. We four. Um, shout out to four. Fallen Winter, because I'm borrowing two. And uh, yeah, this this guy just removes cards from the field when he attacks. Really strong. They can't gain life also when he's on the field. And can, uh, yeah. And we play four of the Trial Deck one, because it bounces and destroys stuff. It's just a good card. Both of the vanities are really strong. Um, and the fact that it can be destroyed on your opponents, or on, can't be destroyed by card effects is also really good. Uh, two dimension revives for the fact that we can call a lot of good things like our Lost Road monsters which are strong or just like um, the Gorio who can check the top three on your Lost Road cards to try to get a better card. Or you can call the Buddy to get a gauge and draw a card. Just a lot of things you can do with this. Or even you can call like Sasanawa and make him a 5 crit and swing for 5 crit triple attack penetrate if you really wanted to. It's like lots of cool stuff with that card. And then for defensive spells, we're playing two vanity cells just in case we don't want to die to impacts or just nullifies an attack. It's nice that it's versatile. Two dimension mirrors, we like to magic cylinder people. If only it hit items, but it'd be pretty nuts if it could. Um And the four dimension absorbs, nullify the attack, gain two, burn two, really good. I got some monsters, MVP monster, or one of them. <laughs> well, actually, they're all MVP monsters. That's when they're they're all in the deck. They all are broken. So this nullifies abilities and destroys cards. So like, uh. Heavy soul things, cards that are just really hard to remove. You just nullify their ability and pop them. And then two irrigate delusions. Triple attack when it attacks draw a card. It's insane. Twice today I dropped double and just like drew six. It's pretty disgusting. Um kinda wish I played a third though. Then I also have Three dimension life streams. Gain ten life first reset my opponent back to ten. I never reset anybody back to ten. I should have done it in one game, I actually forgot. Um but they still would have survived. They just would have put in put at about one or two life, which would have been a lot nicer. Um but yeah, otherwise gain ten life is pretty good. Then we play three graceful charities, draw three, discard two, filter through your lost deck cards, get better cards. And uh, two of the trial deck impact, just uh, burn for five. It's uh, a lot easier to pull off than the other one because you need two lost faders and you have to pay through gauge. You won't always have gauge. You won't always have lost faders. So I'd rather just play something that is more likely to just be able to be played, even though you can cheese wins with the other one since it's a burn 10, but this is way more consistent and easy to pull off. And lastly, the side deck. Um, two skill binders, probably my favorite card to side into. Shut down Cosmo Man, just like Barbed Wire did, and the other like rogue matchups or just anything that like just had penetrate double attack, that didn't have like lots of ways to restand or anything, just kind of shut off their turn. The second Barbed Wire for those Hero World matchups. The one of Obstruct because some decks draw more than me. And just turning off draws is kind of good. Especially if you're already set up. So I did three Mina Wagakushis. Never used them. Feels bad. Um, didn't end up playing any Electro Duty Mirrors, which is where these would shine. So I didn't side them in. And then we have two Eerie Wailings for Matt. 
and other soul heavy decks. Didn't play any of those decks, so it just kind of sat there. And then the second shadow stitching for again like the ODO matchups and stuff where you just want monsters to not stand again. Uh, came up a lot in the ball matchup too. Just a really good card. And that's basically the deck. Shoutouts to all the people who uh, lent, lent me cards and playtested with me, like Fallen Winter and Boxshot and K Strider and stuff, all the Hawaii people for the support. And yeah, it was fun. Um, that's basically it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments down below. And I guess I'll see you guys at Worlds. That's probably the next video. Who knows?